Hey, this is Auntie Fee about them facts. Auntie Fee about them facts. And I am looking at um, the actual indictment for Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith. It looks like they may be trying them together. Uh, I think that's what I'm looking at. State of Tennessee versus Justin Johnson, a.k.a. A straight Drop with Cornelius Smith. And it says indictment. So this is the grand jury has indicted them. There is meaning that there is evidence against these two individuals. Uh, you, you cannot get an indictment without the grand jury, okay? So that's going to nip uh, the misconception saying that they don't have evidence, okay? So it looks like a murder, first degree, criminal attempt, murder, first degree, uh, convicted felon in possession of firearms twice, Employing firearm during felony, so that's the shooting it. Um, so the misconception of they actually didn't shoot anything that's that's out the water, and then theft of property uh, ten thousand or more, and those are the indictment numbers signed by the grand jury on uh, January the eleventh, twenty twenty. Uh, it is page two. Oh, y'all see that? On November the 17th in Shelby County, Tennessee, and before the findings of this indictment did unlawfully, intentionally, and with premeditation it was premeditated wow y'all I'm too I done no one has said that it was pre premeditated murder Okay, so here is saying on November 17th in Shelby County, Tennessee, and before the findings of this indictment, did unlawfully attempt to commit an offense of first degree murder as defined by that code, premeditated attempt to kill Marcus Thornton. This is the second count. Wow. Count three. <clears throat> yeah, I'm too out done. I am too out done. Count four. Count five. Count six. Okay, another interesting find. So, you know, we keep asking why the police, uh, if they had evidence, why did it take them so long to like uh, arrest them or uh, you know put his name out there? Well, I'm looking at this right here. Justin Johnson, straight drive this criminal first degree. This is for the theft of the vehicle. Well, no, this is says the murder too. This one. 
was signed December the 2nd. Date indictment returned December the 2nd, 2021. So they already had an indictment for him back in January on these charges. And then the other uh, indictments was dated January the 11th. So, yeah. Yep, we see it for ourselves. So that's saying that, you know, a lot of our speculations and, um, you know, we've carried them so long because the police haven't given us any indication that they had um, information or witnesses or what have you. They already have it. They already had it. They already had it. Justin Johnson. So this is the state of Tennessee. This is for the theft of the vehicle. The victim's name. Um, where's this public record? Um, and they are indicting both. Well, this one here is saying um, Justin Johnson. Okay, so there we have it. The indictment, the legal documents showing uh, that uh, they were signed by a grand jury. So people saying that, oh, he going to beat them charges. Oh, they don't have any evidence. Oh, they didn't charge them for, no, baby. They have some serious, serious um, charges that's been signed by the grand jury. They are, they have. They have evidence against them. And it's going to be up to them to prove what they have is not true. But when uh, Chief Davis said, oh, they have, she has enough evidence that he will have his day in court, she was not playing. And it's interesting because they have two in different indictments signed. Well, they have several charges, but two different uh, indictments signed dates. One in December and one in January. So, which means, you know, all these people coming up with this fake evidence and fake um Witness accounts, they are, that's why they, that's why they, you know, kind of dismissed it because they already had what they had. They just, in the, as far as that goes, as far as who shot and who came out and how many people and all this stuff that's in there, they have that evidence. They are just trying to get all the extras, you know, they got the meat and the potatoes. Now they just, they trying to get the trimmings and the big dogs. So I hope this uh, helps someone else out as much as it helped me out. I'm glad I was able to uh, see this for myself. Uh, the premeditation on both Marcus and Dolph was probably the, the most, most I learned new okay so i hope it helps you guys like it helped me y'all have a great day well good night good night <laughs>